Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. You can find me at twobrothersblankets.com, on Facebook and Instagram at Two Brothers Blankets, and right here on YouTube every week for a new crochet related video. Today I'm going to do a full pattern tutorial of my free pattern, the Friendship Washcloth. This pattern is free on my blog. I will be sure to link it in the description. For this pattern, you will need some cotton yarn, worsted weight yarn. I'm using Paint Box Yarns Cotton Erin. You will need about 75 yards, so you can get one washcloth out of one skein of this yarn. Um, or if you're using a different yarn, you just need at least 75 yards. I have an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using the Furl Streamline Wood Hook. I have some scissors, a yarn needle for weaving in ends, and a measuring tape for measuring my washcloth. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so it says to chain 34. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay. Okay, so I've chained 34, and row one says to do one extended half double crochet in the third chain from my hook. So I'm going to turn it over. I like to work into the back bump. I just feel like it creates um, a cleaner look. So I've got my second here. So this is my first chain from my hook. See right here? And then I've got second, third. So I'm gonna do my extended half double crochet, which is where I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna insert my hook into that bump. I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna pull through one loop and I still have three loops on my hook still, um, again. And then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those. So that is how to do the extended half double crochet. Um, and then it says to do one extended single crochet in the next stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch. No yarning over for this one. Then I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. So I have two loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull up, pull up a loop through just one loop. Two loops on my hook again, yarn over, pull through two. So it just makes your single crochets and your half double crochets a little bit taller when you do that extended. So then I'm gonna do one extended half double in the next. So yarn over, insert hook into my bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to alternate half double and then single, extended half double, extended single, all the way across. So now I'm doing an extended single. So I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through one loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. So now I'm gonna do extended half double again. Yarn over, pull through, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop, three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Single crochet, extended single crochet, insert my hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop, two loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. So I'm gonna to continue to do that through all the chains, um, doing extended half double and then extended single um, all the way across. So let's do that now. Okay, this is what it will look like when you have completed all of your stitches. You should have 32 stitches 
across and you should be ending with an extended single crochet stitch. So next we are going to row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. So I chained one and I've turned my work. Now it says to do one extended half double in first stitch and one extended single in the next. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Yarn over, insert my hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Three loops left on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then an extended single, so I'm just gonna insert my hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through both. And it says to do that and repeat all the way across. So we're gonna do that now. So we'll do our half double, and then our single, half double, single, all the way across. So go ahead and work row two, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I've completed two rows of my washcloth. This is what it looks like so far. So for the rest of the washcloth, it, for rows three through 20, you're going to repeat row two. You're gonna do the exact same thing. Work one extended, chain one and turn, work one extended half double crochet in the first stitch, one extended single crochet in the next, and repeat that. Um, all the way across for 20 rows. So I'm gonna do that now. You go ahead and work on your 20 rows and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the optional trim that just gives it a nice clean edge. Okay, so to add the optional trim, I'm gonna use the sample that I had shown you at the beginning. Um, this one did not, I did not do the trim on. You can totally just fasten off right here and it looks perfectly nice. Um, or you can add a trim if you prefer. So what I'm gonna do, since I've already fastened off, I'm gonna join my yarn back. But if you are working your washcloth and you get to the end of your rows, you just don't pass it off, you'll just chain one and turn. So I'm gonna join, but typically you would just keep going. So I'm gonna chain one and turn. It says to single crochet evenly around the entire washcloth, uh, working two single crochet in the corners, and then you would join and fasten off. Um, there's no real right or wrong side to this washcloth, so whatever row you end up on, if you're making it bigger or whatever, um, is fine. Just uh, however you wanna do that. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna work a single crochet across the top, which is pretty easy because, what is my end doing here? Um, there are stitches already. Stick it back there. Okay, so up at the top. So you'll just single crochet into each stitch all the way across till you get to your corner. All right, I'm in my last stitch and it says to work two single crochet in each corner. So that just kind of gives it a nice straight looking edge, square, like a straight square looking edge. So I'm gonna work a second single crochet into that stitch. Plus it makes it a lot easier to get around to this along the side of um, whatever you're crocheting. So I've worked that second stitch SC into the stitch. Now I'm gonna just evenly work along the side. Let's do here. I kinda try to um, follow the rows. You can kinda see where the rows are and I'm just gonna go around, I mean down this side of the washcloth. Just eyeball it, it's, I mean, it's not super, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you do want it. You don't want big, 
big stitches where you're like spreading it way out and have big gap stitches like this where you have it nice and even to on the in the on the top you want it to stay fairly even with your top stitches Okay, I'm back at the end again, um, down at the bottom along the side. So I'm gonna work another crochet, I mean another single crochet right into that same spot for the corner. And then I'm gonna be working along the bottom. So these are the chains that I'm working in. So you just kind of follow the chains um, that you created. It might be a little tougher to get into depending on how loosely or tightly you chained. I apparently chained a little tight. <laughs> um, but yeah, just work your single crochet across in, one into each of those chains and that will help it be nice and even around, across. All right, I'm back in the corner again. So I'm gonna work the, another single crochet in that same exact spot for my corner, and then I'm gonna work back up to the top. All right, I'm back up at the top here, right by the fir very first stitch that we did. I'm gonna still do another single crochet stitch here in this corner, and then I'm going to join my, um, to the first stitch by slip stitching into it like so. And there we go, let's fasten off our trim, our yarn. Very nice clean edge. Um, and now you'll wanna weave in your end so you'll take your, um, pull that tight, take your yarn needle and you want to do on the other side. So if your your right side, your stitches are facing this way for your single crochet, um, that's what I would consider the right side at this point. It just looks nicer, it looks more clean. Um, you can tell that's the front of the stitches. So I'm gonna take it and turn it over and weave in my ends on the back. So I have two ends because I had to join the yarn. You'll have another end over uh, down here um, from when you first started, but I've already weaved that in. So I just weave it into the stitches. Um, I like to do a little bit this way, and then I like to go back that way and just work through as many stitches as I can without pulling too tight or being noticeable, like so. And I give it a tug um, so that it, if it were to stretch out a little bit, there would still be plenty of end in there. And then I'm gonna fasten off and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. And you will have a beautiful, very useful um, and decorative crochet washcloth for your kitchen or bathroom now. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will be back next week for a new crochet related video. Thank you for watching.